Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, Going Deep With a Mandeep I am your homeboy Amandeep of the show Going Deep with Amandeep I am Amandeep oh, The host of the show Going Deep with Amandeep, it's the 15th of April, half of April has already gone, and what do we have to show for it? Ganta is what I would say, we have Ganta to show for it, but we are we're alive at what cost, who gives a fuck, you know what I mean? <sighs> Existence, why does it have to be so hard, even when things are not that bad why does our mind always focus on the wrong things that's not a good way to start all the streams just complain but i guess we are back at regular programming if we are complaining but yeah it's a monday not a bad day uh, the first day of the week today uh, on football we have chelsea versus everton it's going to start at 11. I think by then we'll be done. But if not, I think we could even do a watch uh, watch together in case, uh, you know, you're feeling it. Uh, you know, maybe some reactions and stuff. But I'm not a big fan of Chelsea or Everton. Both teams are mid. It's called the battle of mid. You know. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just do some regular journaling. Who's in the stream right now? Oh, Imran, Imran is in the street, in the stream, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw some hundreds for you, my guy. On the street with Aman Preeth, eating meat with Aman meat. Washing. What about that one, Imran? You like that one? Washing my limbs with Aman feet. Let's go, my guy. It's an interesting day. Uh, what did we do today? Woke up in the morning. You know the regular schedule. Ah! <laughs> anyway, went to the gym, early morning gym. Had a lot of fun. Today was squats and arms, so arms and legs mainly. Not a bad day, man. I'm starting to sweat quite a lot in the gym, which could only mean one thing. My muscles are getting bigger. There's a word that rhymes with it, but I don't want to say it because it's going to make me racist. A word that rhymes with bigger, trigger, figure. You know the one I'm talking about? Can you figure the word? <laughs> anyway, racist jokes aside, Jim was fantastic. Uh, there's a meme I saw today, you know, uh, somebody's, uh, the meme was uh, about somebody, you know, going in the gym and doing <laughs> all the exercise and uh, the meme said, uh, I thought gym, going, people said going to the gym would cure my depression, but now I'm just sad with bigger muscles and I'm not going to lie, I really felt that one today because, uh, uh, you know, that's how we feel. I don't know, some days are good, some days are bad, today was just one of those meh days you know i i just it's like my brain refuses to focus on the good side of life you know there is there is food which by the way i am taking uh, less of to reduce the weight so i guess that is why i'm not enjoying food much there is the drugs in life but which i'm also putting off so that's why life is a bit boring Apparently, I just have to enjoy the things I enjoy in life without any boosts, apparently. So that sucks ass, my guy. But it's something we have to learn. Again, with the complaining, Aman, stop complaining, Banjo. But things are going great. <laughs> oh my god, that's so great. Oh, no, oh my god, I cannot, I cannot even fathom how great things are. Oh my god. It's so great. Like, Mondays are so great. Especially Actually, because you get wake up and drink like tea, you know, it's not that bad. 
what accent is that Panjan? And anyway, after Jim uh, had to do a lot of paperwork for some funding that we're gonna get. Big money funding, we're gonna get. I'm not supposed to announce this, but since it's only one person viewing, I think uh, I'm not really, I'm not really spreading the news that far, you know. So once the paperwork is done, hopefully this week we get some funding for the doggies. So doggies is gonna be going on the road soon. I don't know if I can tell this, but I'm just announcing it to you, motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, we're taking doggies on the road. We're going to Nakiri, Mombasa, in Lamu. And the money, money, money is about to... It's funny, man. I thought I would be happier, but... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'd rather have this than not have it, to be honest. But as you know, my brain is just one thing. My brain just cannot fucking get over. It's the age. I am I am getting to an age that is very... Uh, why am I, you guys are therapy, my guy. This is supposed to be a comedy podcast. Where are the jokes, Amon? Speaking of jokes, I think we might edit another video. I was going through some of my uh, freaking videos and I think we might have something. We might have another video that I might want to upload. So yeah, watch out for that shit, my guy. But anyway, mm -hmm. where was I? Therapy side, anyway. Yeah, well, brain can't just get over that. I'm going to turn 30 this year. I, you know, when I was younger, I thought I'd be way farther in my life as a 30 year old, you know, I thought comedy would have, uh, you know, taken me somewhere where I would have been content, but <laughs> the journey is long and treacherous and it's really testing me and I'm not going to lie. I've reached a point where I don't even ask God for stuff. He has, you know what I mean? he knows what i want all i do i just literally true all i do is ask god for forgiveness because it always feels like he's punishing me my guy you know <laughs> like bro why are you punishing me just just forgive me sorry my guy just i'm sorry this is literally my prayer i'm sorry bro please just just don't punish me i'm f thank you you know just let me be just don't punish me let a few things go in my way and you see and the thing with God, my guy, even if I was God and somebody's really praying, I would actually give them the thing they're asking for. You know what I mean? Because who better to be an advocate for me than a person whose prayers have answered and in such a way that they freaking uh, believe in me wholeheartedly. You know what I mean? But no, we pray to God, if I give me a sign, make this thing go right, make the thunder go right, blah, 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 blah. nothing happens. God just lost one of his most potential, uh, strongest follower. Because if shit went the way I wanted, may, may I would have never trimmed my beard. May, may, I, may, I, may I have never had started ganja wanja. I would have, you know, baptized myself as a true color singer. You know, opened a mechanic shop. I don't know what we do. So, you know, things color singers do, but no. I don't know why... Like Kala Singer God is so lazy with answering prayers. Like, bro, how many how many Kala Singers are there? Like, what, 40,000 Kala Singers? So you just answer, we are, you don't have a huge workload, my guy. You know, can you imagine being Christian God or, or Muslim God? You know, you, you have to, like, answer, like, billions of prayers. Hindu gods, you know, at least them, they have, you know, him, he has, like, uh, the Hindu gods have, like, uh, division of labor, specialization. You know, they delegate the the prayer answering and, you know, it works. But Kala Singhas, my guy, it's just one. 40,000 people, you can't freaking uh, make them happy. Come on, man. How are you going to get more people in your team if the people that believe in you or used to believe in you, you don't work for them, my guy, you know? But then again, of course, I am a complainer. I should be grateful for the things I have and all that fucking bullshit. Unfortunately, I want more. I want more. And the thing is, one simple thing can really... It's such a stupid thing. It's just settled. I just want to be settled. I just I just want the, the fear of earning money all the time to just disappear. Just something constant. Even that is like I'm asking too much. 
but you know maybe it's my own doing you know why should i blame god for my own choices you know what i mean i'm a hater i'm a hater boy i'm not a skater boy i wish i was a skater skating would have been more productive than this fucking bullshit anyway we're just hating on ourselves today it's a monday it's monday blues my guy it rained so you know weather mood everything fucking goes down the drain when that shit happens and yeah arsenal bottled the league so you know i'm not the only one who's suffering <laughs> wow what a connection aman shabash bro good job maybe this is why your career is not going anywhere anyway uh what did we do after gym we just sat and we wrote jokes you know we finished some you know work some paper work for the funding uh wrote a few jokes and then i went to the workshop just after lunch i'm like fuck it i don't want to stay home i stay home i feel so useless uh you know i i can't i can't i feel like i need to get out of the house i need to be productive the cop you know that's th- that's the thing with this fucking contractual jobs they they're there but they're also you know not there. you know what i mean they're there but they're not there you know uh anyway so things are going my way ish but maybe not at the speed i want them to go at and yeah bencho uh, so we went to the writing place nairobi comedy festival is starting this this week so i'm looking forward to that shit uh i wrote jokes there i fell asleep my guy i just i can't believe i'm so lucky to have dug mutai as a friend cuz i can go just and take a nap at the comedy club the green room i just fell asleep and he let me sleep like a baby and i fucked up my back cuz i slept on the sofa that doesn't have good lumbar support so i have to work on my back tomorrow to you know make my back muscles stronger cuz i've been carrying this bullshit for a long 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 reggae music again reggae music again i think reggae is just sung by one guy they all sound the same you know <laughs> i'm probably offending some reggae fans but you know how many do we know like three reggae fans who cares anyway after writing uh, we sat down with the comedians we worked on some material but a being but a boom it rained heavily uh as i was going i was really worried that you know there might be some flooding and my car would not pass through some situation some areas but thank god it did so uh, survived that shit and then now uh, on the way back both my headlights uh, bulbs have gone you know when things go wrong they go wrong all the time pencho but you know we were all about complaining to get this shit out of our system and dwell let's you know i think what people should do don't positive think positive thinking is bad cuz now you gave yourself some good expectations with positive thinking and you know how life is it's shit uh, and when you always think positive nothing sh- happens you know no matter how much positive you think it doesn't really actualize into the things you want to be actualized in real life so think negative is what i'm going to tell you think negative so even when negatives ha- happen you're like i knew it duh you know so you're not really shocked or saddened by a situation and when things go right you're like Meh, better than expected you know what i mean that's that's pessimism i am here to preach pessimism uh and i think uh, that's that's the new motto there should be more instagram videos of pessimistic motherfuckers <laughs> I think I've always had this strategy just in life. I might be joking now, but I think in high school I used to just like when 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 I used to do exams, I used to I still do I guess. And then when the results are coming back, I'm like I fucking failed. I know I failed. You know, no matter how positive I thought or how negative I thought, I, it didn't change the result, right? So I'm just I'm just managing my expectations. I'm like I failed this shit. Let me yeah, why well, let's let's not expect higher, you know. And then when I get like a nice like like a eighty nine percent, I'm like, huh, better than I expected, you know. And then if I got shit marks like seventy one, I'm like, I mean, I was expecting bad marks, so who cares, you know? So yeah, I know my bad marks and my good marks have a very small range. Didn't know how to use my book smart to other areas of life. But anyway, complaining aside, that has been my day. 
what is my highlight today? I think gym today today there's no uh, open mic but I think going to the gym and just seeing my sweaty body I can literally see some changes uh like you know if I if I really if I really like I don't know the word for kaza if I really tighten my abs and I just hold my breath in a certain way I you can literally see two abs out of the six the the top two the four i don't know when they'll come i don't even think they'll come those fuckers are going to take some time but the first two are are very visible and then when i sweat they kind of look sexy with the glimmer of the sweat because you know my sweat is very glisten is my highlight what lesson did we learn today moving on <laughs> i don't know what lesson what lesson did we learn today complaining doesn't help and i think i watched a bilba video i'm going to watch bilba on uh, the tiger belly podcast i think i, I love bilba he has he has such a nice outlook on life he's been through shit and you know i want to understand what a great comedian thinks you know and uh, he's going to talk to bobby lee who's goofy so that's going to also be interesting so i'm looking forward to listening to that podcast uh, at night but i thought i think one thing i do remember and learned from bilba he's like okay if things are going to go bad okay if you are if you suffer if you are like mentally stressing yourself now uh if things are going to go bad you're wasting your stress you're not going to change the result and if things go good you know you're stressing yourself for nothing so rather just have a positive mindset and when things go bad at least you had a if things go bad okay think of it like this like this is life okay clean things right i think i'm making sense but if you just think positive the whole time and then 15th is negative well at least you didn't have stress so just positive mindset and all that garbage uh, he talks about which i agree with uh anyway do we have comments i think we do basil which is a very nice ingredient uh, in tea nice to see you on the stream bro yo was nice to meet you the other i bro you, I, please it was nice to meet you too i uh, but next time say hello like with your actual uh, name cuz i don't uh, i think i made some eric i forget i forget my names we need to meet quite often so i can keep remembering your names uh, so that i can get more time for the shows currently doing uh, 22 12 hour shifts a month and it sucks oh my god bro but you know what suffering is everywhere whether you're doing a job or whether you're not doing a job or whether you're uh, intermediary like me <sighs> so don't suffer my guy you know what i'm sure you're going to make the right decision you know your life you know what i mean I don't like when people start giving advice like generic advice to fucking uh, ideas and stuff or situations that uh, are sp- are specific to some person you know not not every not every freaking uh, solution works for everybody you know this is a case by case basis you know so you, i'm sure i'm sure i can't give you an advice over there i know you haven't asked for advice but i believe in you bro you know your life and don't tell don't let other people decide your shit you decide your shit i'm good at giving good pep talks but except to myself in that in that something in that something uh we kesa good to see you on the stream my guy currently eating ice cream sandwiches watch oh my god thank you ice cream sandwich in this cold weather you guy you're a gangster you're not f- afraid you're going to get the flu I I I I can't believe the last time I even ate ice cream. I used to I used to eat like late night ice cream and then uh, I think that's how I got into 99 kgs. Cuz it's true man fat people uh, day, but when it's at night that's when the freaking uh, bad habits show up. That's when shit goes down. I remember of course cuz of my comedy schedule I used to you know get hungry at night. and i come home at like 11 12 you know regular that's why i don't do streams on wednesdays uh fridays and saturdays mainly cuz i i come very late and when i when i when i was not uh, focusing on my health i used to come 
go to this place around south p that used to sell uh, bhajia mix i'm getting i'm getting a uh, fucking uh, wet mouth just thinking about it bhajia and they will only cost 150 shillings and the portion size was amazing especially for somebody who's a glutton oh my god that shit was fire 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 but then i just eat the chips at like 1 am and then fall asleep at 1:20 am cuz it used to take me 20 minutes to finish that food and then that's why i got to 99 kg then have a soda with it Oh man, I miss those days when I didn't give a fuck about my health. I wish I didn't. Fuck, you should have died of a heart attack, fucking bencho. We're gonna have to live to see this fucking day. You know, jokes aside, <laughs> I'm kind of glad I'm taking care of my health because you know the 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 skinnier body is not that bad. Clothes fit me better. Uh, it just makes me feel like I didn't waste my money on those clothes that I bought when I was a bit skinnier, and they're you know, feels good. uh but i wish i felt that good inside oh come on can you oh yeah when it rains it fucking does that shit i'm sorry my guys i tried i tried to improve the connection but safari com just fucking when it rains things go bad anyway moving on uh today i thought uh, i got another video that i thought we could edit uh i'm not sure if i'll upload it but i mean if since the edit is ready i might just upload it cuz i don't know whether i want to do this joke again or not But you know what? Let's just start editing it and we might find out whether it is good or not good. Where is it? Where is my software? Vande Mataram. Vande Mataram. What do you open to? Oh my god, no, don't open to. So here's the video. uh it's a joke i'm sure you guys have heard quite a lot oh today i even got the i downloaded the freaking audio adobe software so at least now i can show you how i kind of clean up the audio where is my videos bench out bro why is it so hard to find my own videos live yes i want to see bro am i not live What the hell? Oh, I yeah, fuck! I have to go to my own link. Ah, oh, fucking! This is some bullshit, my guy. Oh shit! Today I even watched freaking uh, Sunrisers versus RCB. They broke the record again, my guy. Again, how could they do that shit? Two hundred and eighty-seven. and then rcb really just lost by 20 runs i'm not going to lie dinesh karthik you're a gangster faf duplessy you're a gangster virat kohli you're a gangster everybody else can suck dick except for that guy who got uh, mistakenly run out that guy give him another chance but everybody else fucking waste man my guy okay again how could they oh now i can read comments while i can edit perfect Anyway, so I hope you can see my screen. Yes, you can. Uh, this is the audio. Uh, now I don't need this one. Uh, actually, I just need this one. Should we play? Let's play. Maybe, maybe you guys could tell me. I don't know. I don't ever want to post the whole thing. How long is it? Three minutes. Maybe we might. Oh, no, it can't be three minutes. The whole thing. I was reading the news, and apparently, uh, interns that are doctors are on strike because they're getting paid forty thousand shillings. Shut the fuck up, okay? Which intern gets paid anything? <laughs> no, seriously. Who had to you had to sell mandazis to make ends meet as an intern everybody else except doctors they think they're special because they went to Nairobi University and cheated the exams. Shut yeah, the fuck up and take that 40,000, bro. <laughs> they want to be paid how much? 200k? Are you going to pay the same price for a Mobius and a Land Cruiser? Oh. Made in Kenya versus made in Abu. Which one are you going to pay for? Bro? Exactly, bro. When was the last time Kenyan doctors made an invention? 
fair point. Seems like this is a doctor's crowd. <laughs> you guys don't like the truth? <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. So shut the fuck up. I'm not getting paid shit. And I give the second best medicine. You know, you know who, who's supposed to be complaining? Mm -hmm. Cops. Cops. Don't, they make zero shillings after all their deductions. Zero shillings. Do you see them complaining? No. Nope. nope. They figure out a way. <laughs> I think till day is fine. It's fine, Aman. That's not bad. Till day is aight. Because uh, a minute 35, not bad at all. Really, anyway, really let's... Uh, I'm not sure if I'll upload it because I'm still working on the part after it i'm right i'm gonna add a joke about how maybe you know doctors are gonna you know uh, figure out a way the same way cop does you know just just you know the same way cops do you know boss i know this certificate says uh, you are hiv positive but we can talk and change the results you know i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna do that but we figure out a way if it works or if it doesn't work where is it pictures is not this one this was on the 12th Untitled. Everything is untitled. Now, now this is a new software I've introduced to you guys. Okay, this is this is Sony Vegas, of course. This one you know, Sony Vegas. Where is it? Uh, oh, here. It's on the it's on the desktop. The desktop. This is called Adobe Audition. I just installed it recently and uh, just just have a look at it. Oh wow, this is so complicated. Oh, oh my god, what is this? Bada 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 is your musical vision 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 Stupid ass. Uh, what if we just do? No, no, not this one. Like, how do we just uh, renew everything? I just, just close, 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 close. Okay, how do you do? Control all. Close this shit, my guy. Okay. Import. Uh, it's the old one. Uh, I don't know why. I this is the one I learned in uh, my freaking. Uh, what is it? No downloads pictures pictures in my radio job this is the software i learned so that's why you know it's the one i use i'm used to it even though there's there's a newer version but yeah uh, if the own world works why should we go for the new one you know what i mean here now this is the audio file as you can see uh n not much you know so in the beginning, I just like to do effects, amplitude, okay, amplitude, what should we do, normalize, channel mix, how about we do filters, uh, graphic equalizer, and we just go to vocal presence, boost, anywhere there's a vocal, it just boosts it, maybe even a little bit of a hard limit, just, you know, I don't know, I just like, I just like hard limiting, normalize will just not do much uh push input by two uh, i'm not sure about this but this one uh, let's do 0 0.5 let's see okay nothing perfect let's do it again uh hard limit uh maybe let's do it one this time let's see what that does perfect i was reading the news and apparently uh not interns bad. that again okay, what is this Exactly, bro. What was the last time Kenyan doctors made it? I need to, I need to boost a little bit of the freaking uh, another hard limit, bro. Let's go. Uh, yeah, one is fine. Release time. Uh, I don't know about that shit. Let's just do okay again. That's okay, I guess. Oh, okay, okay. What if we do Control Z? We just normalize this part. Effects. Don't don't expect any uh, fucking uh, uh, d tutorial from me. I don't know the fuck I'm doing half of the time. Okay, 
I just want to increase it by 80% so at least it matches the highs of this one match the highs of this one. Okay, now it kind of looks equal. Oops. Okay, even this one. I want to I want to make everything loud and clear. There. Let's let's see how it sounds now. I was reading the news and apparently uh, interns that are doctors are on strike because they're getting paid 40,000 shillings. There's a, there's a is it more noticeable here? No, this one is much better. Okay, so I do right click, uh, select capture noise reduction profile. So you know the the computer. Okay, so this is what the noise sounds like. I do control all and I go to effects, uh, noise reduction, and I say uh, you know use the noise and let's see how much we can reduce and uh, let's preview i was reading the news and apparently uh, interns that are doctors are on strike because they're getting paid forty thousand shillings shut the fuck up okay which intern gets paid anything <laughs> no seriously who had to you had to sell mandazis to make ends meet as an intern. Let's round it just flat. Made in Kenya versus made in Abu. Which one are you gonna pay for? Okay, it's reduced a bit. There. Now, as you can see, uh, <laughs> that's not bad at all. So the audio is a bit amplified. I don't know what else I can do over here. And this one, the good thing is, I just do save, and it's saved. Fuck you! I don't know. Why are you ask me too many questions, bro? I just come back here and I uh, remove this one. I said, no, I don't want this one anymore. I delete, delete track, bro. Even this one, del not dope. Hey, 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 Aman. Aman, Aman, Aman. Why, is, why are you like this, Aman? Delete and then you come over here. Why, bro? Why, bro? Why, bro? Why, bro? You come back here, which one was it? 12th. It was untitled. Was it this one? Oh yes, it was. Yes, it was this one. You just bring it here, and voila! I can shut this one down. And I was reading the news, and apparently, uh, interns that are doctors are on strike. Should we add this for a bit of forty thousand shillings? I like adding this just for a bit of environmental shut vibe. I like the ambience. Which intern gets paid anything? <laughs> Which intern gets paid anything? Zero shilling. Do you see them complaining? Nope. They figure out a way. <laughs> ah, perfect. Uh, you know what? This one might even go up. For some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why, because I'm lazy and every video that I I touched, I believe she is perfect and I don't like to double check my work. Maybe maybe that's the reason. I was reading the news and apparently uh, interns that are doctors are on strike. Let's straighten the video. I can see it's not straight because if you if you use critical thinking that I learned in USIU, you can notice that the brick wall is small here and full here, which means we have to add a little bit of rotation on this side so we can keep the lines parallel. I'm sure you didn't know that word, Benjot. You're welcome, Benjot. Sorry, sorry. I know you don't fuck your sister, but you know. I was reading the news and apparently uh, interns that are doctors are on strike because they're getting paid 40,000 shillings. Shut the fuck up. Shut the okay. fuck up. Should we put a beep sound? Should we? Or is it, is it, should we? How many, one thumbs up and I put a beep sound. One thumbs up and I put a beep sound. Let's read some comments before we move on. I don't want, I don't want to. Hey, why guru? Uh, walk one DJ Brian, keep keep you again, keep you gone, keep you gone, Brian, keep you gone. Good to see you on the stream, Mr. Kali. I hope you are running well. I hope uh, the marathon is perfect. I hope you have skinny legs, and I hope you can endure pain better than other people, cause that's what makes you guys great. 
Wagwan Imran that looks Asian I know I know but it was free it was free they gave it gave it to us for free and it's simpler to use the new one is too complex takes a lot you know so relax I know it's old but pull up select you know one day we might even make like I used to make a lot of audio freaking uh, you know like what are they called idents you know the ones you hear on radio d- 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 speaking of those ones you know you're listening to i used to make those adverts and shit so it was fun that's where i learned to create uh, the audio shit in this software so yeah maybe one day we might do that i'm not the best i'm i'm not even number 400 out of the world i'm i'm probably number like 15 from behind okay there i'm only better than 15 people on the planet but it's fun uh, we might we might actually just do it uh pull up select <laughs> so so that's funny uh have you used audacity yeah audacity i used to use it uh but then i i got used to uh, after effects adobe audition sorry because uh, uh, of my work at radio and then i never needed to use audacity again but yeah audacity is where i ri- literally started uh dj dg sorry thumbs up thumbs up to you too uh let's watch some uh, ali g together man i would love to but then the thing is uh, freaking uh, youtube copyright can we watch shit like that on uh, twitch we might just do it on twitch i don't know Can we not fuck around uh, or give a fuck about Twitch? I mean of copyright on Twitch, you know. That's not a bad thing in my opinion. That would be fun. Oh wait, don't uh, do it. Your internet is shaky. Nah, man. No, it's okay, I think. I think when I switched my freaking uh, Wi-Fi network, it's okay now. But you know what? I think uh, oh fuck, we got one thumbs up. So I guess we have to we have to put a beep sound. Okay, let's let's look for a beep sound from the internet together. Anyway, moving on. Bleep sound, bleep sound effect. I think I just just because of cap cut, you know, it might just uh, what do you call it? Not perfect. This is this is this is a trick, guys. If you wanna if you wanna you know download videos from YouTube, here's a trick. Okay, don't don't tell YouTube I showed you. Okay, am I sharing my desktop? Yes, I am. Okay, this is what you do. Okay, potential. Listen, fucking shut up. Don't do anything. I don't know what you do. Fucking listen, listen, bro. This is a secret. We come to YouTube, okay, on the address bar of the video. You know, okay, listen, okay. Before the dot com, after the YouTube, the e, you put pp. I know it sounds funny. Trust me, it is reason. Okay, then just click this. You just print enter, and then you wait because we're going into the the dark web. <laughs> okay, what's up with this shit? Why is it taking too long? Internet is not that bad. I guess it is. Oh yeah, it's it's it, it worked. It worked. It worked, guys. Listen, listen, look, 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 look. It worked. Look. And then the video is here. And may I just want the audio? So I just click on audio. I just click download. Look, it converts and does everything. Look, fucking. Look. Boom. But you have to make sure you have ad blockers, uh, you have uh, uh, fucking antiviruses, and you have pop-up blockers. Otherwise, this is going to be hella annoying. Why is it not done? Fucking shit! You see, it's already annoying with the ad blockers. Right? Imagine if I didn't have that shit. There, it's downloaded. Okay, there we have it. We have it. And our downloads. Then you control X. No, not this. Here we have it. and then i just go to where i wanted it to be here i like putting all the videos in one folder so i can delete the folder and not give a fuck no not in not here bro here 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 bro why why are you taking it there chu there sorry sorry for my potty mouth for my dirty mouth but i think here we have the beep so you're welcome thank you dg i was reading the news and apparently uh, interns that are doctors are on strike Because they're getting paid forty thousand shillings. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> Shut the fuck. Up. This is gonna be hard. Why do I swear? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I just I just need a little bit here, a little bit there, 
and then I come over here maybe a s s here split put it down even this one s s uh, reduce all the volume so maybe it's Shut the Okay. Perfect. We how did I time? How did I time it so perfectly? Shut the up. Okay. Which intern gets paid anything? <laughs> no, seriously. Who had to? You had to sell mandazis to make ends meet as an intern. Everybody else, except doctors, they think they're special because they went to Nairobi University and cheated the exams. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, again, bro, relax with the swearing, Aman. I know you're cool, but hey, man, you ain't no Dave Chappelle, motherfucker. Shut the fuck. This fuck. The fuck. The fuck. fuck. There. Starts from here. Let's S S. The fuck. The fuck. The fuck. The fuck. There. And maybe it ends over here. I hope. Otherwise, it's gonna be too weird, too long. Then you just control V. Oh, perfect. Uh, there. Shut up and take that forty thousand, bro. <laughs> they want to be paid how much? Two hundred k. Are you gonna pay the same price for a Mobius and a Land Cruiser? If you don't know the reference, Mobius is made in Kenya and Land Cruisers are not. I hope you get the joke, cause to me it is very funny. Made in Kenya versus made in Abu. Which one are you going to pay for, bro? <laughs> exactly, bro. When was the last time Kenyan doctors made an invention? <laughs> Seems like this is a doctor's crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I was bombing hard with that you line. You don't like the truth? <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. Shut the fuck up. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to remove that one. That one, I think I'll keep it. Medicine. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not getting paid shit. And I give the second best medicine, you know? You know who's supposed to be complaining? Cops. Cops, don't, they make zero shillings after all their deductions. Zero shillings. Do you see them complaining? Nope. They figure out a way. <laughs> okay, this video can end here. But maybe, you know, just because you're special, I'll show you the rest of the fucking video. Just because it's you. Otherwise, I wouldn't. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, they said, no, we need to be paid 200,000 because we did five years in university. Bro, is that really that hard? You know what's hard? Keeping 32 teeth for five years <laughs> without dental insurance. Now, that's hard work. Yeah. I think doctors should just, you know, figure out a way the same way cops figure out a way, you know? Just, Bomb squad there you there you have the joke, but I like I like I like where we have reached so far And you can keep it somewhere there. Which one is this 18.8? Let's keep it 18.8 there I was reading the news and apparently uh, interns should we add some movement? I've always thought maybe adding movement would I don't know is it is it necessary? I've always thought cops should on huh? What do you guys think? Uh What's up, Amandre? What's up, Flame Extra Hot? Good to see you on the stream, my guy. <coughs> Which stand-up comics do you look up to in on the international stage? Uh, Louis C.K., Dave Chappelle, uh, freaking uh, Bill Burr, R.I.P. Patrice O'Neill, R.I.P. Norm Macdonald. But there are so many. There are so fucking many. But I think those five are my are my are my top five. I do I cannot place them one above the other. Although I would say I am heavily inspired by Louis C K. Uh, but I want to be as smart as Norm Macdonald. I want to be as chill as that guy. I want to be as irreverent as Bill Burr and Patrice O'Neill. Patrice O'Neill was just so philosophical. And I wanna just be overall like Louis C.K. There's so many things I can learn from these motherfuckers. But yeah, and the thing is, you know, I've always thought about this, like what will happen if I meet them or when I meet them, you know, positive thinking, I'm on positive fucking thinking when I meet them. You know, they say don't meet your heroes and I think, you know, they wouldn't like me. <laughs> so I'd rather just not meet. But anyway, uh, so yeah, those are the people I look up to. Uh, locally, I don't look up to anybody. They're all fucking losers. I was reading the news and apparently uh, interns like that me. the doctors are on... 
I was reading the news and apparently uh, interns that are doctors are on strike because they're getting paid 40,000 shillings. That that starts off very harsh. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna take it. But you know, man, that's the job of a comedian is to be like that. Where are the now? I just wanna add some color curves. I've been editing videos two days back to back. What has happened to me, Aman? Oh, perfect. No need to add any white color. I like I like this color already. It's it's a bit sharper. I'm reading the news and apparently uh, interns that are doctors are on strike. I like this because they're getting paid forty thousand shillings. Huh. Shut the, the lighting here is so much better than which intern gets video. paid anything <laughs> no seriously who had to you had to sell mandazis to make ends meet as an intern everybody else except Do okay now one i always one i always forget is to add sharpen do we have sharpen here if it's not here i can add it in uh, canva but i like i like this one because it's, it's simpler there which which maybe maybe just add a little bit of sharpen here you know maybe it shows me what it looks like it's not it's not much it can do much but i think this much sharpening is fine just a little bit just a little bit a little bit of this a little bit of that no, no, no. okay this one this one looks so much better than last times you know but i need a new fucking camera i like this the sharpening here is much better but it's a bit too much there maybe somewhere there and i think we have the I'll video the aspect apparently uh, now we can render it and the fucking good thing about this this fast ass computer oh my god this computer is so fast is i can <laughs> i do be farting i do be farting this one we can call it uh doctors they're gonna hate me for this one but i'm a comedian i'm supposed to be this jodu while it's rendering let's read some comments my guy where is it here uh aside from russell peters hey man russell peters has had a huge impact on uh, my early days as a stand-up comedian uh, and I think everybody just used to recommend I watch Russell Peters because they thought, oh, Mwindi and Mwindi, you would love him. And I did. He's fucking hilarious, especially crowd work. He has so much cultural knowledge because he's traveled so much. He's been all around the world and he knows so much. People want him to talk about their people and make fun. That's how dope that guy is, man. The first one I watched, of course, is when he's wearing the white T-shirt in the orange background. And he's I think he's doing it in Europe. I don't know. I don't forget which country. And now on, man, you know the the the. I think the biggest the, his main joke, be a man, do the right thing, be a man. You know the one that the, the one that clip came from. Fucking amazing. I I watch it sometimes. It's hilarious. And you know if I heard the story from his own mouth on a podcast, that he did not upload the video. Somebody just took the the special and uploaded it, and it blew up. And that changed his whole career. So, you know, sometimes stealing people's content and sharing it is not really a bad idea. But yeah, man, big fan of Russell Peters. I think I was so sad when he when he came to Kenya. Oh, it's video is done. Perfecto. Now we can close. Okay, no, no. Maybe let's save it first. I want to save Sony Vegas. Okay, save. When he came to Kenya, I was so sad because I, wa I was... I wanted to just go watch him. And I was kind of in the Churchill crew, but I was also like... In between jobs, I was at Sarova, uh, you know, in the Mombasa branch, uh, White Sands, and he was performing here at Carnivo, and I felt so bad that I couldn't just watch him. I was so naive, I thought I could open for him. Bro, I wasn't even ready to open for his opener's opener. You know, I was I was too young, but I, I, just, I was just bothered me. I'm like, fuck, Russell Peters is in Nairobi, and I cannot... I cannot even watch him perform, let alone open for him. I was so heartbroken in Sarova. Uh, so I didn't enjoy that uh, fucking work at all. And then when I came back, I, I have asking everybody stories. They're like, yeah, man, he murdered. He was making fun of all the Indians in Parklands and shit. And he, and he went off on these rich Muindis. And 
He told them, you know, your parents fucking shit. I'm like, damn, I wanted to be there just to see this guy work his genius. But, you know, yeah, man, uh, one day or oh, day one, whatever the fucking meme is. But, yeah, big, big fan of Russell, Russell P- 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 uh, Wait, do you have a day job in addition to comedy stuff? Fight fans on what's up, my guy. Good to see you. I kind of do uh, on Saturdays. I'm a radio presenter and I am a copywriter uh, for an ad agency. So I write adverts uh, for their for their clients. Basically, that's it. That's my job, which which I don't mind the ad. The ad writing, the copywriting is not that bad. It's uh, it's something I did actually study for one of my childhood dreams or was to just write adverts. Because when I was younger, there used to be this trust condom ad. It was very interesting. And I remember uh, this buff, this buff black guy just walking in the sun, glistening fucking abs and shit, just walking, red sun looking motherfucker. You know, dreads, big glasses, you know, built. And he's walking and this girl just looks at him and, and, you know, her vagina starts fucking flowing. And she goes, ah, you know, her hands and knees become weak. Arms are heavy, knees weak. There is vomit on her sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. You know. And she drops a water bottle. And then the water bottle starts leaking. You know, it's like a plastic water bottle. And the guy notices and he walks over and he's cool. You know, fucking away. And he takes the water bottle, chucks a condom from his back pocket. Because, you know, he knows he's going to fuck later. He always carries condom. He opens it and puts it like, valishas the... Or puts on the the condom on the bottle. While sensually looking at the lady and she doesn't even know what the fuck is happening. Because this hot guy is touching my bottles. Oh, and it's leaking, you know. And then the leaking stops because, you know, there's a condom on the bottle. And then he walks away with that, with like a smile like this bitch. If I wanted to, I could have. But I'm too cool and I'm kind of gay maybe, you know. And that was the advert. I'm like, so if... if I want to write funny shit like that. I was very young. I, I kind of got the idea, like what they're trying to sell. And this is another version where it was like an umbrella. The umbrella didn't have a cover. So the guy just puts a condom on a like umbrella. You know, interesting things. Now the umbrella, maybe you have used a condom before. You know, it's, it's it's oily now. Same for the water bottle. Just throw the water bottle, bro. You can get another one. Anyway. So, yeah, that's what got my interest in writing ads. Uh, there's one uh, Mentos ad that used to come on TV where it was like those rich royal indians and they didn't have headlights in their car but they have slaves who who used to chew this mentos and they just used to do their teeth like this and the teeth were so white it used to shine the way so that was one of my favorite ads and one more man laddu puta was i think it was a chocolate ad catbury laddu like it was interesting so that when i was younger i used to watch those ads and i always wanted to write ads like that so I guess now I'm a radio presenter who also write ads and does comedy on the side. Comedy at night, actually. So yeah, that's my day jobs fight a fan zone. Uh, wasn't there a Muindi famous Kenyan comedian? Yeah, I think his name was uh, uh, Razak, Razuk. I forget, I forget the name. Somebody will tell me, obviously. Uh, but yeah, he used to, he used to do the old kinds of jokes. You know, the storytelling jokes where, oh, there were four Indians. And one of them did this and the other one did... You know, he had one of those uh, storytelling type of jokes. Uh, I forget the name. But yeah, I watched his videos uh, a while back when I was starting out. And, I, you know, he knew how to perform them. I think one joke... I th- he is one of my favorite jokes of those types, you know. Uh, my father is the one who told me this joke. So it's racist, but it's, it's kind of hilarious. So the American president... Uh, the 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 uh, the Saudi Arabia uh, fucking uh, M fucking uh, king and, and the Kenyan president are in a plane. Okay, now the plane has unlimited fuel, but now there's there's no way to tell where they whether they have reached their destination or not. Okay, so now they are stuck in this plane, so they have to just decide when they're in their country and they can jump off okay so the first guy is the arab guy he puts his hand outside and then he says oh i've reached the other passengers ask him how do you know you've reached uh, your land he's like oh i put my hand out and i felt the heat and sand in the air and i knew i'm in saudi arabia so he jumped 
then then it's the american president's turn he puts his hand out and then he takes like i think i'm there like how did you know you're there is like well i put my hand out it's december it's snowing and i felt some snow and i think i'm in america and he would jumped off there was a kenyan president's turn he puts his hand out brings it back in and he's like i think i'm there pilot asks him how how do you know you've reached kenya he's like well i was wearing a watch and now it's not there anymore so that's why not in kenya and he jumped off and he was right <laughs> you see those are the kind of jokes my father used to tell me racist jokes but pretty hilarious and kind of accurate <laughs> Oh, internet is back. I think it's back. Oh, those sh quiet. Anyway, uh, would you want to play the stereotypical Indian Kenyan guy for corporate Kenya? Didn't you know a uh, cutting? Didn't you do a cutting for certain super with Kina Flock? Oh, I would. The, the money is nice in those corporate gigs, but I think that's one of, one of the reasons that I kind of. Uh, stayed away from Churchill show you know that was the kind of material that was working when i was there uh, just characters indian boss indian landlord uh, like even when i did theater the first acting gig i got on on theater as an actor was an indian landlord and i think i carried the i carried the fucking i carried the humor part i had some banging lines you know and i did it in my towel I was a fat fuck and I was wearing a towel you know cuz I'm I'm out of the shower and shit and ah uh, it was fun I'm not going to lie but I didn't really enjoy that I'm always type casts type cast but those are the gigs that are available and what am I going to say no you know work is work can't be that fucking uh choosy when I when I don't have many options and then after a while with comedy I kind of felt like this is not for me you know this this character type of comedy that I might be pushed towards and uh, not for me but thanks cuz I understand that's the market right mass market and mass market only knows indians as hello everybody me mere taga kula paisa ya ko we apna lipa rent me me piga we we me me kula pili pili you know and yeah that's where the money was so i played the pill i played the game and then i started oh i'm like i thought maybe i need to be more like uh, louis ck and bilba people and then i did my own thing and look here we are unhappy and i would still be unhappy there anyway enough complaining enough bashing my own mistakes or what i think were mistakes but yeah and the amen uh, that gig with the super was interesting i'm not going to lie easy money baby I was on a billboard i i didn't do many lines i didn't have many lines in the adverts i wasn't doing an accent I I and I was pretty cool with it and it was chill. I loved it. Uh and yeah, hopefully they keep coming is what I'm saying. Moving on, it was an umbrella. So you remember, but it was also a bottle. There's also a bottle, Brian. Remember, I can we look for it? Abu, why am I sharing my screen? Let's look for it. Oh. 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 Oh, that's that's the most haunting sound of my fucking show, man. There's a show used to be called Shh Koye. It's come on uh, Star Plus. It was a fucking horror show, like ghosts and stuff. And the intro music was super scary. What are we looking for? Trust condom ads. Old, extremely funny. Old. old is this is the umbrella one but there's also another one umbrella where is the bottle hey how did they get rights to this song bro cops are still wearing the same uniform check it this cool guy Oh her umbrella doesn't have a cover. Oh it went away. But chick is sexy. Yeah, chick. Uh, baby. This is actually kind of creepy if you think about it. Just some guy pulls out a condom to some random lady and <laughs> Okay, bro. We know it's not that big. Come on, bro. Relax. That's awkward. Now that umbrella is unusable. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. The umbrella popping. This was funny. This was written by some gangster people. But was, uh, this is not the one I'm talking about. 
it is um, bro there's another one with the bottle i can't there's one with the bottle i don't know why then that one is not here bro why am i clicking so fast <laughs> Take a look at the difference. This is what those other countries were fucking being shown, and look at the funny shit we were being shown, man. We were better. But where was it? It wasn't, bro. There was one that there was a bottle. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. Is it this one? I think it's this one. It's you, you no, it's not here. But no one buys trust anymore. People like this shit whack my guy. Okay, is it this one? Uh, ho, ho. When people This was made recently. Makes me Yeah, this was made recently, it's too clear. Mama Michelle. Mama Michelle. <laughs> I know this one. This is about cheating and why you should fucking. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's one with the bottle. I don't know why they're not showing that one. That one's hard to find now. Hey, 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 sexy lady. I'm so easily distracted, my guy. Well, if it's not there, I'll make it. Fucking, I'll write that shit. Me, by the way, if me, I get a chance to write adverts for condom make and murder that shit, bro. It's so easy. But no, Bencho, they won't give uh, talented people work because you need connection. Anyway, complaining later. Do we have other fucking uh, comments? Bruh. Bruh. Keep going. Uh, keep you gone. On this stream, we do not delete messages. Whatever the messages we say to the, our chest. Poru, what's up, my guy? Good to see you on the stream. Good evening, everyone. And Arsenal fans. Uh. Oh. Let me let me let me annoy my Arsenal people. Cause even me I'm annoyed by the way. Look at the table. You think you, you think we are gonna catch up to Manchester City? A lead at the cleaning end part of the league? I don't think so, bro. You think Liverpool no 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 City is taking this one again. Look at it number two. Arsenal never wants to be number one. Arsenal is the best team at number two. Like even Manu is gonna pull up to us. No, twenty points is too much. Chelsea, fuck yeah, bro. P who's la? Luton. I usually want Luton to go up. I don't know for some reason I just like that team. But eh, check it number two, eh? Bencho. How many games are remaining? Uh huh. Can I find out here? Fuck it, I don't care now. But I know they're not many. Like seven, eight. I don't know. What? Chelsea has already scored four in the first. God damn it, son. Okay, Palmer. I see a hat trick for Palmer. What? George Waweru must be happy. Actually, let's just see if he's happy. I can, I'm pretty sure George Orwell is tweeting about this shit. Ha oh, oh. <laughs> Biggest diggers. <laughs> Who is Chinese? I'm sure he's tweeting. I'm sure he's tweeting. I know this motherfucker is tweeting. There, you see call Palma hat trick get in. Like. Ha oh, oh. Anyway, any more any more fucking comments, bruh? The real joke is the internet ban. I'm sorry, James Omoro. I'm trying to keep it uh, freaking uh, clean, but what do I do? Safaricom is doing this to me. I even paid extra. I've been paying extra. Before I used to pay the three the two thousand five hundred one, and I'm like, fuck it, let's go to the four thousand one hundred one, and uh, that is you know for home use. But even that one, bencho, they're doing this to me. It rained my guy. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Pendu jokes are the best. Five seconds. What's up, my guy? Good to see you on the stream. And you're right. Jokes that are Pendu, jokes that are villager-ish are the best, in my opinion, too. Because, you know, not much thought goes into them. Easily relatable. 
actually and but they're really hard to write you watch bad friends podcast they have your kind of humor i know man me by the way me humayangu ni international i have very a very meme humor actually my meme if you understand memes you'll get my humor if you don't i'm i'm, I'm like an idiot i'm just the guy who says racist things yeah. sometimes not even jokes there is no bottle one bro arsenal just bottles the league you're right you're right Ars- how many times i will see uh epl history let's see how many times they have bottled Where is Wikipedia? Okay. They have bottled if they came top. Top. Okay, two. If they're number two. Oh, shit. Take a menu. This guy was strong, eh? What happened, Banjot? Oh. Number of top six finishes during 20. Okay. These are the bottlers now. <laughs> where is where is it? Who won? I want, I want to list previous winners. Okay. Okay. I don't this is an pre and the history, bro. Let me google better. Uh, EPL history winners list. Ha. Oh, there we have it now. Hey, menu used to be tight. Is this really Premier League? Oh Man City okay okay City not I was confused Check check United was playing actually pretty good but Arsenal bottled 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 3 4 5 6 they bottled 3 times in a row oh boy But you know is Liverpool 1 2 3 but you know Liverpool even won here When was the last time Arsenal won? Two thousand and four. Oh God! Oh God! This is bad. This is so bad. But you know that's what you do when you don't have good players and uh, your fans are kind of retarded like me. That's what happens, my guy. Chelsea are four up in the first half. Day. I know, man. Even me, I'm kind of shocked. This team had no money, but suddenly they have uh, fucking four goals. Interesting. uh i think i think they were most affected by the russia U- ukraine war dude stop singing the scary sound it brings bad memories my mom used to watch that shit gave me nightmares comments i'm 27 years old and still this music give me chills <coughs> right brother only 90s kid can understand this music vibes this guy, this guy loves this music even the conjuring is nothing in front of this music lol i remember watching this as a kid with my brother and cousins and we literally didn't used to turn off the lights after the show cuz we would be too scared i'm s- this is so true it used to come on fridays and fridays my father used to love to watch this shit and if you watch this shit the lights are not going off they are not going off my guy childhood days i think everybody here is wa- just watching it for the childhood oh yeah cuz it stopped 
even advertisement of this show can spoil a whole night <laughs> it's true and it's true like do freaking ish cheeky i'm already farting i'm already losing motion bro can't fart gi already bro i am 30 and still love this show and aaj bhi fart gi aati hai bro we're on the same boat <sighs> i heard this in a meme i'm going to watch this one tonight so excited for that one bro this used to fuck this show man ho oh, ho oh. fir koi hai they had a they had a remix this is this one's kind of too modern they overdid this one they added those weird laughs this not scary at all i'm so scared already ha ha you know what you know the thing about comedy by the way let me tell you guys thing about comedy in my opinion comedy and horror comes from the same thing it's it's surprise it's basically set up surprise comedy is the setup is to bring out ha 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 in horror is to bring out <sighs> but it's the same thing in that manner and that's why i think comedians can write very good horror shit kenya we don't have good horror shows maybe i should start pitching some horror shows fuck that means i have to start watching horror shit uh, but it's going to it's going to shika horror horror episodes just horror huh just stand alone episodes you know uh, fuck uh, the research part is going to suck ass cuz i'll have to watch a lot of horror shit but even if i write who's going to buy that show i don't know we'll think about it but i think I think maybe horror is the way to go cuz if you look in Kenya there are no horror shows there is comedy there is love story there is uh, drama and I guess that's it maybe crime here and there but nothing horror that's a big market that's that's maybe is Kenya even ready for horror shit can we even write horror shit you know maybe maybe I'll sit with my friends and we and we brainstorm some ideas for some horror shit fuck I'm so scared. Uh, fucking that music really bummed me out. Fuck. Anyway, what are the other comments? Funika the router with trust the one day to leak it. <laughs> That's actually not a bad ad. That could actually be a good ad. Or even oh, here's another one. You're in you're in Naivas and uh, you're buying stuff and now you didn't bring the bag and you don't want to spend money. You go in your pocket, you trust a chuck a trust condom, open it and then you put all the goods inside. You know what? You know what Bencho James Omoro by the way welcome to the stream my guy you know what Chodya you know what mother chod sorry i'm insulting you but that's how i show love my guy that idea is going in the that that idea is going in the idea box so this is the idea this is a joke i wrote today check people say you're supposed to get married ali blah 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 bencho can't mole chodya uh sketch idea trust uh you're at a nice shop you forget your bag so you ch- chuck a fee your female condoms even bigger there i have another sketch idea this is awesome you guys that was a good idea bro Uh don't forget to share the screen I did I did bro I did the, I did share the screen for that one my bad it's gonna shika it did that's a dope idea the horror stuff I know man uh but I don't know if Kenya is ready for that shit you know would, would people really enjoy that shit depends on how good the writing is and how good the show is and how we can really pull off the horror if I can just get 10 10 sketch ideas 10 idea 10 episode ideas of horror That's a season, ten episodes, not bad. You know what? Fuck it. We could do it with you guys. 
you know what? I love I love writing with you guys, and you guys are pretty smart also. Okay, first first horror show. Okay, it has to be a lady. It has to be a witch type demon. Okay, kid is kid is at home. Whenever whenever horror is created, there's always a change in environment. You know, somebody is m- either moving to a new house, or a new family member has come. Something different has to happen. Somebody died. You know, something has to trigger the horrorness. What triggers the horrorness in episode one? Okay, maybe something hacky. Okay, something hacky like. uh children are trying to you know there's this haunted uh, house in their fucking uh, estate no one goes there cuz people say it's haunted okay okay we're, we're on to some some very basic idea but maybe we can improve it they you know they want to record cuz it's social media time you know, everybody wants to record shit they go into the house they record shit you know there are some f- f- weird jump scares there you know just where the mabati falls something a cat runs around <laughs> then they start laughing and then there's a door this is a door but this is th- this door has a chain on it every other door is open but this one has a chain on it and it's clean by the way that's the different thing everywhere else in the house is dirty but this door is clean uh and the chain is clean like it's it's sufficient and the children are looking at each other should we open should we not open you know and uh, the curious one the group leader cuz he wants to impress one of the girls so there has to be a girl you know motivation for him to you know do something stupid women good idea that's actually kind of true he goes to the door he wants to open it but he's also scared maybe we can add some comedy one of the kids uh, farts that's that's the that's a jump scare but a funny jump scare I'm a comedian i have to put funny shit just unintentionally i just habit uh okay then what then what happens and then uh, he goes to the door he doesn't open it okay we can't just reveal the mystery like this he puts his ear next to it uh he hears his name then they run out of there yeah! they run out so we have established that there's something scary behind that door okay now how do we progress the story we need an ending okay that's the beginning how how can it end should we even look for an end or should we just find the end wherever it comes okay then the kid the kids at home they're all scared they're all thinking about it but the kid who put his ear is in some way sweaty at night you know he he had the most interaction with that that entity okay he's sweating at night what else is he doing he's sweating he's turning around he can hear the sound still and now the sounds are you know as the sounds are getting louder they're convincing him to open the lock uh, and he's kind of getting uh, mind controlled you know because all it took was him to, maybe, maybe it has to touch something you know that that kind of creates a connection okay he touched the door he put his hand like this he touched it speaking to him now it's late at night fuck it let's go he's under some kind of possession okay where we are on to something he's under some possession he's, he slowly goes back to the house alone which is super scary i'm already getting nervous thinking about this kid alone in the house and suddenly the house is actually not as dirty as it used to be it's actually pretty clean and the door the door the chain is still there kid kid is uh, trying to open the lock now he looks for a key they he finds the key he opens the thing he opens the door gust of air and nothing of course nothing but this room is what is the room now what is in the fucking room just a bed fuck it just a bed nothing on it uh but he ah, fuck this is some indian horror i don't want to make it indian like you could hear you know indian girls they like to wear anklets and when they walk you can hear the ch 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 you know i don't want to make it indian i want to make it universal horror gust of wind opens kid is freaked out but he's still under some kind of possession through the shadows something crawls on the from the top a lady or you know something there's not much back story on to why this this place is like this but maybe it doesn't need it's a short episode doesn't have to be a lot of back information this entity of course escapes possesses the kid or something maybe they go to school 
and the kid is doing weird shit you know the turns around the head walks walks like a spider shit okay the ki- how how will the entity be fucking uh put back into the fucking hole oh yeah they just killed the kid when the kid is being you know possessed and that's the ending so we have the middle beginning end shit we just have to add the funny funny or scary scary parts in between maybe 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 there's something maybe there's something should we share screen sharing screen maybe let's let's let me just write that one down uh beginning uh, kids uh, explore maybe we need to bring back the social media angle okay kids explore oh there so every horror story doesn't end with the ghost dying right it ends uh, but the ghost is still alive so maybe the ghost you find out the ghost is still alive through some social media like it just can, it just possesses social media and can go into the other thing okay okay there's something that kids explore haunted house one tries to impress girl open maybe you should just open it rather than listen to it right because that kind no 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 not open uh, puts ear next to haunted door he is uh a voice who is spring whispering his name kids freak out run away uh main kid gets possessed possess possessed put it in brackets because he's not really possessed he's kind of being mind controlled kind of being mind controlled by the voice tells him to open the the door he does it alone at night gets possessed uh goes to school does weird shit to teachers also yeah teachers have to be involved mhm that's uh, i remember maybe the show is just called beginning huh. uh mm kills family i guess family pet you know uh eats cr- crawls on walls kids find out one way to defeat is to kill kid while he's possessed they kill uh ends turns out demon lady is still alive because she possessed another kid uh stroke maybe through social media okay we have a basic idea but i'll have to i'll have to build this what do you guys think ho ho uh shit uh shumelita shumeleta he he shume shumeleta shumeleta what does that mean my guy brian please explain i'm so dumb i apologize <coughs> ever thought about making an uh, indian kenyan movie with the crazy editing i would love to man i would love to make those edits but never had an idea you know like nigerian movies maybe maybe i put this one down in kenyan bollywood style movie i don't know i don't i don't know what the story is yet 
But yeah, I've just put it down just in case someday I'm reading and I get an idea. Ha ha, Arti, you're bitter because you haven't found a lady to mother your kids. Hey, see you. <laughs> hey, it's a big joke, okay? It's a joke about young fathers and why people say you're supposed to be a young father. And the punchline in the end, you know, I shit on young fathers and then I say, okay, maybe it's because I haven't found a young lady. Okay, okay, it's not, it's, okay, Bencho, don't, don't, don't read too much. When I perform them, they're better. Stop reading this shit, my guy. Uh, don't forget the rain and the thunder sounds. Yes, yes, rain, thunder, that goes without saying. Try taking chat GPT for inspiration. Hey, man. You know what, let's, let's even, let's even put this in and see what it gives us. Oh, where is my mouse? Okay, there it is. Okay, give give me a synopsis for a horror movie using the following beats. Echoes of the Damned. In a quiet suburb town of Millbrook, a group of adventurous teenagers led by a charismatic Jake decide to explore the notorious abandoned house on the outskirts of town. Jake, eager to impress his crush Sarah, volunteers to lead the group into the dilapidated mansion. Okay, this is written by a Kenyan for sure. As they consciously venture deeper into the house, they stumble upon a peculiar door hidden in the shadows. Ignoring the warnings of their instincts, Jake leans in closer to impress Sarah, only to hear a chilling whisper calling his name and from the other side. Petrified, the group flees in terror, but the eerie voice haunts Jake's thoughts long after they have left the house. Okay. Days pass. Okay, maybe we'll do it the same night. Jake begins to exhibit strange behavior, his mind seemingly not his own. And be knows to his friend, Jake is being manipulated by the sinister voice he heard in the haunted house, compelled by an unforeseen force. Compelled by an unseen force, sorry. Jake returns to the abandoned mansion alone, driven by a dark compulsion to open the forbidden door. As nights fall, Jake succumbs to the voice's command and locks the door, unwittingly unleashing a malevolent, malevolent presence that possesses him completely. Back at school, Jake's behavior becomes increasingly er erratic, terrifying his teachers and classmates alike. He mutilates the family pet and displays unnatural abilities such as crawling on walls, leaving his friends horrified and desperate for answers. Determined to save their friend and stop the evil that has taken hold of him, the group learns from a local oculist. Okay. Is that, um, is that how you pronounce it, bro? Okay, that's not a bad person to learn. Okay. That the only way to break the demonic possession is to kill Jake while he is under its control. With heavy hearts, they confront the possessed friend in the final harrowing showdown. As they reluctantly carry out their grim task, they believe they have vanquished the demon, but their short relief is short-lived when they discover that the malevol malevolent force has found a new vessel lurking within the unsuspecting body of another student. As the credits roll, a chilling realization dawns upon them. The nightmare is far from over. Very simple, I'm not going to lie. Nothing out of the box, but, but this is something to grow. We can we can change some of these things, but it's not bad. You're right, bro. You're right. Chat GPT really did help with that one. Fuck yeah, bro. Shit, I didn't even share my screen. Thank God. You guys would have thought my reading is fucking stupid. But here. It's over here. Anyway, let's read some more comments. Fucking that was dope. Uh maybe like a haunted app kind of thing yes that's also very similar yes like some black mirror episode shit. black mirror episode shit okay haunted app what introduces the haunted app you know not let me just let me just note it down somewhere <laughs> I'll just put it down there. Uh, Dennis, how are you, Dennis, my guy? Good to see you on the stream. I think it'd be funny if we make the ghost the victim in the story. Just spitballing here. I like I like that idea. Out of the box thinking. Turns out the ghost is trapped in this dimension where the people 
are the no, the demon bad guys that's not a that's a good twist i like it i like it dennis ooh i like that one quite a lot guys how do i give you credit for for this if we, if it ever comes out you know what i'll just put your name dennis maybe you you know give you a free subscribe i don't know i'm just joking but yeah i like i like that idea bro bazaar what's up my guy good to see you on the stream uh what's up bazaar hey this is good i like i like you guys are becoming friends to each other oh screen is frozen that's a sign my guys that's a sign shumilet is some tanzarian yeah i don't want to watch that shit i don't want to watch that shit uh okay you know what Let brb guys just brb give me a give me a second i think we are back anyways i hope it's working now uh like the others where they thought their house was haunted but they were the ones who are ghosts oh yes is that there's a movie like that uh fuck i forget is this lady yes you're right you're right where she thinks there is a ghost in the house but turns out she is the ghost you're right there's some there's something there we, we are cooking here we're cooking something we're cooking something here i can hear you but it's like the video is frozen my bad guys i hope it's okay now you should use it for your jokes writing uh, not that you need it but you know brb bring rolls of but nah man we ain't doing that no 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 i can't use chat gpt for joke writing honestly it it's it's too it's too basic it's too it has very hacky material it doesn't give me an opinion that's that's out of the box to be honest uh cuz when it came out i did try right for me a joke about this 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 the premise the setup give me 19 puns it sucks it's not good for joke writing it maybe it's good for giving you like association words and stuff like you're a very technical writer but if you're more of me you just want opinions i don't i don't think chat gpt really could help me uh unless it figures out my voice my the way i talk my by my voice i mean my opinions you know the way i think about certain things then maybe it'll be a problem but so far i don't think it, it it's only good for like technical writing like copywriting it's it really helps because sometimes you want a synonym for a word that you know gives you a different meaning blah 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 for that it's it 100% is a very useful tool but for stand up comedy which is more personal i i don't know i i avoid i don't want to use chat gpt for that have you asked it to give out uh, of the box material <laughs> how about we do this new chat uh give me an out of the box opinion about being a young father being a young father can be like into discovering a rare treasure map in your youth duh this is nothing new there with others may see am i sharing my screen cuz then it's fun here uh you've stumbled upon an adventure earlier than planned it's an opportunity to learn and grow alongside your child navigate uncharted waters together embrace the spontaneity and youthful energy it brings for the journey in fatherhood age is just a number and the richness of experience blah blah okay make write a joke about why being a young father is bad why did the young father bring a ladder to the baby's crib okay now this is the joke because he heard parenthood was a climb but he didn't expect to start at the bottom you, you see you see bro so i don't think it's good for the kind of jokes i write but if you are into puns and shit it's not bad i think even the puns is i'm not going to lie pretty weak but you know not for me anyway guys i think we are done with the stream today i think i edited a video oh shit we didn't even put some captions should we put captions fuck it let me just show you how i put captions so at least tomorrow i have something ready but this joke is really kind of incomplete anyway so let's see where i want to complete it or just do it like that testing environment what's up man your computer can oh thank god oh i'm so worried new project you guys no memes in the discord today my guy come on guys join the discord join the fucking this i don't know what am i even doing bro if you have memes that you want me to watch bro put them in the discord my guy i mean kisiangani what's up my guy how are you Good to see you on the stream my guy. 
where is it? Uh, uh, Doctor Strike open. Perfect. Add it here. Let's add some cap captions text. Auto caption start. Oh, the captions are going to be pretty long. You know what? We might just finish this tomorrow. Because I've already uploaded a video recently, and this one can take some time. You know what? I'll just save this. Uh, I'm. It's too late. I'm bored. I, this is too much work. And have to go through each capsule. Ugh, I'm so tired already. We'll do another day, guys. I apologize for that. How does Discord work? It's just like a chat room. Uh, Chelsea five nil. No freaking way, bro. No, it's four. Am I still? It's still. Uh, it's it's loading. It's loading, but but fuck my guy. What? Discord is like a is like a chat room uh, with with people. It's like a it's like a WhatsApp chat room, and people just post links and funny funny clips. You know what I mean? That's all I can tell you, bro. I I'm also new to it, so with time we're gonna learn how it actually works. Checky checky checky. Hey, Emmanuel Kisiangani. By the way, don't forget Emmanuel Kisiangani's podcast is gonna be live at the Nairobi Comedy Festival. I don't know what day is it. I don't know, Emmanuel, if you are still here, you can mention it. But uh, Palma, four goals? Shut the fuck up, bro. S you're right. <gasps> Penalty. Oh, Palma, my guy. He's making the big money. Big money, my guy. Anyway, it's already 11.26. You know what, guys? I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm feeling pretty tired right now. We've done this for an hour 40. Not bad. I think I, think I like long streams. Maybe with more people joining in, we can have fun conversations rather than, uh, you know, video editing to fill up time. And the video is stuck. Perfect. Uh, Wednesday, please make sure you come uh, for Emmanuel's show. And uh, we have fun. It's going to be a live podcast. RSVP. Uh, NICF.co.ke And with that, I want to say goodbye. And... Uh, Vande Mataram Vande Mataram